here is my 55 gallon uh, Black Ghost Knife Tank. There's also some rainbow gobies in here and an L333. But as you can see this tank is kind of algae ridden. It's kind of getting out of control. But if you look real close, this algae is more than just algae. I mean, these white spots. Mm, there's a fish. These white spots are more than just white spots. So I needed to know what this is, and I want a closer look. Hydra. What's Hydra? Well, Hydra was a serpentine water monster in Greek and Roman myth. It had poisonous breath and blood so virulent its scent was deadly. Hydra possessed many heads. Each head that was chopped off, two grew back. Heracles, the hero of ancient myth, cut off the heads with the help of his cousin who burned the necks with fire to cauterize the wound so the heads can't grow back. And then Hera took the body of the Hydra and put it in the sky as a constellation. Or it's this thing, a small freshwater organism that's native to temperate and tropic regions. Hydra is a genus of small freshwater organisms. Okay, so what does that mean? Is this gonna kill my fish? Is it harmful? How do I get rid of it? Well, in order to defeat a monster, one must understand a monster. So, let's get into it. Hydra is an ambush predator. It attaches itself to stuff and then sits there waiting for food to float by and catches it with its tentacles. On its tentacles is a neurotoxin that can paralyze its prey. It then moves the paralyzed prey into its mouth to digest. So the answer to, can this kill my fish, is maybe. Small fish like fry or shrimp can easily be caught by one of these. Larger fish will be fine and might even snack on the hydra and help keep it in check. Can this neurotoxin affect me if I touch it? No. The stinging cells are too weak to affect humans. Okay, so how do you get rid of them? One of the easiest ways to get them under control is to feed less. As you can see, they easily take brine shrimp. And every time I was feeding brine shrimp, I was feeding the monster. And feeding. And feeding. And feeding. Until I had an entire army of Hydra. Turns out, when they're well fed, they reproduce by growing a bud. You can see one here and here. Once it's big enough, it'll break off, drift around the tank, and attach somewhere else. Well fed Hydra can bud every two days. Hydra can also drop eggs. And when conditions are right, the eggs will hatch. Hydra can also reproduce by tissue regeneration. Much like that mythological creature, if you cut this Hydra in half, each half will regrow, and you'll have two Hydra instead of one. In fact, their cells are believed to be immortal, meaning that they don't suffer from aging, and theoretically, they can live forever. Okay, so how am I gonna vanquish this monster? I could use medicine, Dewormers and anti-planaria meds are known to work against Hydra. But the black ghost knife is sensitive to medications because he is a scaleless fish. So I'm going to steer away from that. However, if you're going to use medicine, be careful because a lot of these medicines are harmful to shrimp, snails, and other invertebrates. So do your research. What else am I going to do to stop the Hydra? I'm not going to feed this tank brine shrimp anymore. The fish in here are big enough, and I'm just going to switch to a bigger food, like bug bites or live black worms, stuff that's too big for the hydra to eat. I'm also going to gravel vac and change water more frequently. I'm going to increase the water flow by adding a power head 
and I'm going to increase the airflow to the sponge filters as well. All these things coupled together should defeat this monster, or at least tame it. I'll keep you all posted. I'll make an update video in the near future. Thanks for watching. As always, please subscribe and leave any comments or questions down below. And I'll see you all in the next one.